Yeah, that's right, buddies. The new SBM4 brace. I'm a big fan of the SIG brace, and um, they recently came out with this. These are both CAC tubes. A couple of quick points. Number one, you can only get this from SB Tactical now, and it is 160 bucks shipped. Okay, the original SIG brace kind of was like that, but you could pick it up for 80, 90 bucks. I I love the original SIG brace, but it was big and obnoxious, and the look just was crazy. So I sold the other one and put the money into this, so I don't feel like I got raped too bad. But a couple of points of interest that you might want to consider. First of all, it definitely um, you're not seeing it wiggle too much now because I got a piece of tape under there. But uh, this is a softer rubber. Definitely lighter weight. I'm not going to say it's a more comfortable, but it is, kind of. Um, but it will spin on your tube a lot more if you have any sort of spacer whatsoever. I normally have this longer spacer in here from CAC. But with that on here, it doesn't start to firm up until it gets in there. And uh, there's that much room underneath there, so... I do have a little piece of tape under there, which will firm it up a little bit, but these are not as, um, as, they'll still, they'll rotate easier than the original one. It is one hell of a lot better looking though, huh? That's for Shire. I do really enjoy this Thordson, Thordson, whatever the heck it is, as well. But again, just, just to the colors and aesthetics, I just swapped them for now, but this, this will probably end up on there again. But those are my two little honeys. This is a 11 and a half. This is a 10 and a half. And that one's a 1 and 8 twist with a 223 wild barrel. I don't even know what this is. I think this is a 1 and 9. I don't even know. The barrels came from Moss Defense. I've had pretty good luck with them. And that's an, um, a aged bronze Duracoat. And uh, this this thing's awesome. It's got everything I kind of want on it, and they both are wearing Halo Sun. That's a 403A, and that's, I think, a 503, whatever. This is the one that take, can go on an aim point mount, where that's the original one. Um, as far as uh, Halo Suns go, I'd trust my life to them. They're definitely, uh, they've been great, especially the original one. It's amazing, actually. And uh, this has got the WNML light on it, which again has its flaws. If you don't know, those things crack right here, especially if you drop it. Excellent light, one of my favorite light designs ever, but they're proven to be unreliable, especially if you bump them or drop them. So it's kind of a at your own risk. This is a um, Arson Machinery M Lock one inch mount. And that's just a little um, four sevens light with some uh, camel form wrapped around it. She's in there good, and that uh, that's fine for this. Unless I got the laser on there, and uh, I love these these Cobra vertical grips. And this one's wearing the Sig backup sights, which I really like, especially because you can just flip them back down in the HK style and. It's all good. Lighter, way better looking, more expensive. Another pet peeve, it only came in black so far. Put it like this in a flat dark earth. And it will spin on your tube more than the original if you were using spacers. Um, but kudos to SB Tactical for coming out with uh, another brace.